All right, so this is a really cool exercise. It's not only good for posture, um, mobility, it's also good for your brain, because you're gonna have to think during this one. You know, Elizabeth right up against the wall like this, feet are back, you know, a little ways from the wall, as you can see. The idea here is to, uh, if you don't know already, I need to digress for a moment, anteriorly on the front side and on the back side, okay, from shoulder to hip, shoulder to hip, there's a crisscross muscular pattern. Okay, that's why when we walk, we have reciprocal arm swing, not same side arm swing. It's because we're connected with a crisscross on the front and on the back muscularly. So um, we can activate those chains. We can activate that posturally as well. And this is a posture exercise. It's also good for activating um, the opposite arm leg movement pattern but in reverse so hands are against the wall there will always be one hand against the wall at least and uh, let's demonstrate you pick whatever side you want to do so you're going to kick out opposite arm leg see this right there okay there you go she comes back now she's going to do the other side and i can tell you that both she and i got confused during this because it's not a naturally not something we come up, you know, out of the womb doing. So this is good though. Really nice. So I like the alternating pattern of this very much because it's really good for the hemispheres of the brain because you have, you know, two hemispheres. And when you're doing opposite patterns, even though it's supposed to be natural, if you have to think about it, it's forcing the two hemispheres to work better together and make better connections. This is great for overall brain health, nervous system health, and everything. All right, so the other thing I like, though, is the idea of just sticking with one pattern and doing it for maybe 15 reps. So you just pick, yeah, we're going to do that same thing right there. Left leg, right arm. All right, so I won't have her do the whole 15, but you can do the whole 15 at home and then switch sides. Do both, because the first way she did it, alternating, is really good for the brain and posture and posterior uh, fascial sling, opposite arm leg activation patterns. And the second way is good just for strengthening because then we're doing a same side, same movement pattern repetitively. That's going to help us with strength. That's it. Thank you.